This is the life. Chilling out in your back pool area in Florida with K5 and a load of cars from none other than James Shear. Welcome to another K5 video, folks. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Right, massive apologies to uh, everybody that wanted to uh, send me boxes and bits and bobs and all the rest of it. But uh, with the luggage limitations of the society that we're living in right now, there's absolutely no way I could fill a whole suitcase full of Hot Wheel cars and still be alive at the end of it with Mrs. Five in charge of the uh, packing restrictions. I did manage to meet up with one of my uh, friends though, uh, Mr. James Shear. And uh, it was a very, very uncomfortable time of the day, right there early in the morning, around about one o'clock in the morning as it was. Uh, he was just finished his shift work, working at the pizza shop and uh, I was just getting ready for bed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, well there you go. It was a weird thing, we were sitting in the car park and then we moved and sat in a reception area not very good for filming but he did send me some very nice cars and uh, we'll take a look at them shall we right first up we've got uh, this nissan it did it was originally in a box but the box was all knackered and creased and uh, while i was sitting there talking to him i uh, decided to open it up it's been out with me out with me on a few missions already around uh, the land of disney and uh, i'll show you some pictures of that later um Here's an, is a really nice car. I've got my assistant uh, Kid 5 with me this morning also. This is very early in the morning, but for some reason everybody's deciding to get up right now, so it, it expects some interaction. Here are Kid 5, open that one up while I tell everybody about what happened with James Shear. Well, so there we are. We were sitting in the hotel, chatting away, and as it turns out, James Shear is a really nice bloke, as you'd all hope he would be and he passed on to me a whole load of really cool cars. Look at this one, I forgot to show you this, didn't I? Wow. Now we haven't seen any Matchbox in the UK at all for probably the best part of a year. Uh, but they do, they do come in sporadically and um, obviously I buy as many as I can when I see them. But we haven't seen any of these new ones and this is the, the new vehicle for, uh, it's called the Unsk. <laughs> The UNSC, people out there who know Halo Jones will know what that's all about, maybe. And this is the Warthog. So that's gonna come out with me today on a little mission, I think. So uh, we'll carry on with that one. We've also got, oh look, baby, Kid 5 has actually managed to crack this one. Look at this. So we've got this ready to go. I would have liked to have had this out with me at Epcot and um, was unable to crack it there because it was just too busy. That's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Metal body, metal base, real rider tires, sporting slicks. Imagine slicks for extra quietness. Look at that division. Okay, let's have a look, see what else Mr. Shear sent me. And he would have sent these by post originally, but uh, in the excitement of it all, he came to visit me with about 20 tons of cars. And I, I I felt a bit funny really having to turn turn down so many really cool cars but you know, there's only so much I can take home with me. We've got these two lovely models. They're pretty old on blue cards, well half blue half white, kind of at the end of the blue card period. A quick look at the back there. Exciting, yes to me. The Night Force series. What have we got here? We've got a Maisto this is an interesting vehicle. Really been uh, hoping to get one of these. I did not ever expect to find one from your man, Mr. Shear though. Absolutely brilliant. I love the Matchbox version of this. And I know this one is slightly bigger. So that's really cool. And look at this, what a surprise. At the end of the Matchbox period and the Tommy Tamika period, we see the sudden emergence of the weasel tank. Now, is it? Does not look like a spinning turret model, does it? Very, very cool though. Does it want to come out of the box? Not not 100%, not right now. But right, let's have a look at some stuff that does want to come out of the box. And I've, I've still got my lovely assistant here with me. Say hi, hi baby five. Hi. <laughs> Is that it? 
Right, we're gonna look at some matchbox. Right, these are definitely coming out. Check this out, the Volvo. Wow, pass it over to my assistant. And we've got the Ford Explorer. That's coming out. Fantastic, this is great. Cars from Matchbox that I just, you just gotta love. While we're waiting for those to come out, got this beautiful Honda Civic. Now I thought I had this Honda Civic in, in my life. In fact, I, I don't think I even knew it existed, to be fair. Um, so that's a really nice model. Gonna keep that. Gonna keep that one on the card, I think. Woohoo, Christmas is coming up soon. Now oh, here we go, we've got a few release cars. Here we go, look at that. The Ford Explorer. What a piece. Looking good. I like that. We like that a lot, don't we? Wow, that's a good one. Woohoo! Yeah, you can get back in the pool, Pushkin. And here's the Volvo. That's nice. Good detail work there from uh, Matchbox. Interesting blue background though to, to the grill work. It would have been probably better in white, but overall, a very tasty model. And of course, Match Matchbox have got a great heritage with releasing Volvo cars. Continuing that uh, tradition there from the old, the old days. Wow, look at that. What a beast. It's, this is the, uh, the V60. Wow, for you vo Matchbox lovers out there. What a piece. Okay, let's check this lot out. And the cars just keep coming, James. Thank you so much again. I'm gonna say it again and again, over and over. Absolutely amazing. I've been dying to have a sit down and look at these cars. And uh, here they all are. All these ones I've got to unbox um, because I'm not gonna get them in my packing otherwise. And again, it's over to uh, Kid5 to uh, crack, crack into those. And while Kid5's are opening those cars up, James insisted that I have uh, have these cars. He absolutely insisted, and uh, they're absolutely amazing. So we have the trucks series to look at. We've got the Subaru Brat, fabulous piece. I kind of like Brats, but uh, I didn't ever expect to uh, have so many now in my collection. So that's an awesome piece. Here's one of the, the truck series. This is the F220. This is um, awesome. I believe this is the second release of this vehicle ever. So uh, very nice to have. Uh, probably an, an adaptation of an older vehicle. We've uh, I've discussed it a lot on the Hot Wheels area. As you can see there, 2014. So it's pretty new. Beautiful piece. That's going to stay in the box. I'm going to try and keep as much in boxes as possible so that it does. they do stay you know, something to open when we get home. Here's the Datsun. Everyone loves this Datsun, of course. I never thought I would collect all of these anymore. I, James and I laughed that, um, of course, in America, you, you keep collecting these and buying these and uh, getting the whole sets of them. And uh, as soon as I saw in America things were uh, moving on with this model, I kind of gave up the idea of collecting the whole um, backlog of them. And. Uh, it looks like James is going to sort me out and uh, there's a couple of uh, models. Here comes the one I'm waiting for from Kid5. There it is, look at that. Two, two models you cannot get in the UK of this 620. Wow, what a beauty. And if you notice the uh, mainline version has a plastic base and this special premium model has the metal base. So uh, awesome and of course, real riders. Now then, Kid 5 has actually cracked into a load of cars that I didn't want her to, but that's okay. I'll get her to crack into some extras. She can crack into that one and that one too. Alright, here's the rest of the truck series. Here we have Chevy, Chevy Silverado with the motorbikes. This is uh, with the real riders and of course, I think, judging by the weight of it, a metal base. Pretty awesome piece. Um, some, a, one, a vehicle I didn't have, and probably from this particular truck series, this one along with the uh, the big Ford would have been the two that I would have been hunting down. So that's awesome. Or well, hunting down, wishing for, wishing. And here's the 72 Ranchero from the truck series, Hot Wheel Car Culture. Brilliant. Have a quick look at the back of that for recap. My goodness me, 
I've actually got a whole set of car culture cars. Wow, that's awesome. Five has actually uh, cracked into a load of cars and she's accidentally cracked into uh, a couple of cars that I wasn't actually after her cracking into. And the first one was this one here. This is the current uh, Peanut series from over in the over here in the States. Um, I saw these ones in Walgreens of all places. Um, I'm not too sure if they're available anywhere else. I haven't seen them anywhere else, and but I haven't done that. Honestly, I haven't done that much shopping because uh, I seem to spend most of my time walking around water parks and uh, um, roller coaster places. So, yeah, here we go. Look, wow, what a piece! Now, I do not have one of these in my collection at all, so it's great to finally have this piece secured. Fabulous item! Look at that. I believe Mr. She used to drive around in one of these, probably not quite as heavily customized as that, though. And um, look at that, Mr. Shear. Thank you very much indeed, sir. This is awesome. The 55 Chevy. What a beauty. Absolutely love that vehicle. In fact, this has just given me a good excuse to go out and take some pictures of it because uh, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Interesting. Uh, already got some damage on it. <laughs> yeah. Good one, Kid Five. Right, anyway, so she's been opening up some cars for me and we've got this one here. This is the Little little Red Express in yellow. Actually looks really, really cool. Very, very cool indeed. So another one of those cars that um, has only just recently, well, put in the last three years, has come out. So it's uh, relatively collectible. A very cool piece. If you notice the size of this truck, we have other trucks here. Look, so it fits in very nicely with the, the truck collection. Very cool, a little, little dodge basically. Very, very cool. And we have the ambulance. Again, another piece that I didn't have any of these in my collection at all. There's quite a few of you out there who like to collect this model and have lots and lots of variations of it. Because it is rather a fun piece. Originally released as a hearse, which uh, didn't go down too well so they did a few conversions on the roof there and uh, re-released it as the ambulance still after a hearse that's one of those pieces I am desperate for but uh, in the living world of course 
lovely, lovely thing. Check this out. It's the first time I've seen this one out, out in the raw. Got a few variations of this now. This is the uh, the old VW Carmen Gaia Type 34. Very nice. In this rather um, distinctive green. Goes rather well in the, uh, the Florida countryside. And lovely tempos on there. Fun to drive. Fabulous stuff. What a beauty. Really like that one. Good work, Matchbox. And we got this one here. This is a Hot Wheelie. Wow. Now, I guess it's on a postcard as to which uh, famous <laughs> German automobile this one is modeled from. But we're gonna guess it's a, a 911. It just looks awesome. There it is. Aristo Rat. This is a brand new release from Hot Wheels. Fantastic. It's going to look good in my um, hot rod collection. Brilliant. Oh, we've got the new coloration of the fabulous Jaguar. This is a Jaguar that uh, I love at the moment. This is the F type. And it's already come out in its second color variation of this beautiful orange color. Very nice indeed. Thank you, James, again for everything. And of course, Life will not be complete without a Jap rocket, and here it is, the Nissan GTR. Wow, beautiful, isn't it? Let's have a look at the base of that. The Nissan R34 GTR, what a thing. That is a beauty. Look at that, it's got the tail lamps, it's got side, it's got everything. What a lovely thing. I would say that one goes with the Gran Turismo car, which I actually have a model of somewhere. So let's have a look at that. Fabulous. Thank you very much, James. Next up, we've got these uh, models here. These are all metal on metal. This is an older piece. The 64 GMC panel with the Snoopy uh, Red Baron colors on it. Looking really good. Look at that. Love that piece. Try and keep that one in the box for now. And the all elusive A100 and this one's in the Snoopy colors as well there she is my first one of these this is the lowrider van version and it's absolutely spectacular -os. doesn't look too bad actually with the um, Snoopy on the side so very cool indeed very Christmassy I wonder if uh, Mrs. Five will let me hang this one out at Christmas hmm <laughs> we'll have to wait and see on that one. Right. So all these cars have been from James Shear so far and uh, absolutely incredible just spent the whole time looking at these cars haven't we. Here's some uh, Zamax, beautiful things. Wow, really really like that one up there, the old Mustang. And he also gave me some of these Halloween cars. These are from the latest Halloween release over here. Again, these are cars that we don't see over in the UK uh, in this Halloween mode. And of course, the infamous Bone Shaker. There they are. They're awesome, aren't they? Oh, 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 yes. The new Mustang GT convertible. I'm actually gonna open this one up myself. I've uh, got to show you something for this one. This is the, uh, this is awesome. Look at this. We've actually got something really exciting to show you parked on the driveway outside here today. Wow, yep, not only do we have the plastic and metal toy version, we have the real deal here sitting on a driveway. Wicked, let's have a little comparison with the real, with the toy to the real thing as we're walking around. Obviously this toy one is the GT version, but general fittings and fitments, pretty regular, pretty standard. This of course has got the top up, and this one's got the top down, so we're going to put that on there, just for a laugh, give you an idea of what is 164th scale of the real deal and check something out while we're here 
don't think you'll be able to see it. Right, that's what the inside of one of these uh, these new Mustangs looks like. Tiny little back seat there. And yeah, there we go. There's the bins. Nice. This is an automatic, of course, because it's a rental car. A mental rental has lots of little graphics as well. You can't quite see this one, but um, has uh, under the doors there, there are Mustangs. Let's see if we can see that on the other side. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Right. <laughs> I think you probably can turn them off. And well, there we go. 164. One to one, it's a Mustang in real life and in car form. You're getting that little LEDs in the front there. Growler front end. There she is.